welcome to Florida Fishy Finger, my YouTube channel where I tell you all about the things I'm interested in in the area of fishing like micro skiffs, technical polling skiffs, snook fishing, kingfish fishing, and john boats, all kinds of things like that. Hey, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, turn on the notification bell. We do videos like this all the time. Today's video, we're going to look at the last of the Ancona boats that we're going to be looking at in our series you ever wonder what the perfect technical polling skiff looks like and that's the Ancona Advent if you were like me when you started shopping for a boat you needed a small loan I needed something like four thousand dollars well the smallest loan I could get was five thousand dollars at my local bank my local credit union and there are options on the internet to get much smaller loans rather quickly one of them is provided down in the links for this video if you click on that link you support the channel and you can get a small loan if you qualify for something like five hundred dollars to thirty five thousand dollars which puts you in the range I believe for this boat but let's check it out the advent I'm not sure this was around when I bought my boat three years ago I don't think it was I think it's new newer this is one that my oldest son loves very much and says that out of the Ancona collection this would be best for me even for the kind of crazy stunts we do sometimes with these boats like taking them out in the ocean on calm days uh, when you look at this boat it has that to me it looks like almost the marriage of the shadow cast with the SUV but that's just how it looks to me if you look at the SUV very classic classic curvy real curvy boat I love it and then if you look at the shadow cast you have something that's much more geometric much more sleek now and to me the Cayenne just is like a wider bigger version of the shadow cast the advent seems like the perfect combo of all of those and if you look at little details like the hatches, you know, the way they're angled there, I think they're probably angled so that you could sit on one side and just easily grab out of that hatch instead of having to come in at it kind of at an odd angle like you always have to do with the straight ahead hatches. You can see they thought about fishability. This is clearly a fishing machine. I, I don't think you can really think of a scenario inshore that is going to be restricted by a craft like this. Now I don't know what horsepower engine they put on these but it looks like it's a decent size engine there. Now one of the things that jumps out at me right away is the fact that they've got this wider area towards the back of the boat. It looks like they've got much more fishability towards the back of the boat. Just from the look of it it looks like maybe they gave up a little bit of cockpit size for more deck size which is really cool now I don't know that for sure maybe that's an optical illusion looks like they got a little cooler in front of the center console there interesting now they have that bar on the stand and I'm guessing you can get a backrest on that I'd wonder that would be sweet all right so let's see evolution all right this is kind of a reaction video for me Hole design. Great shallow water performance. Easy to believe. Easy to pull. Yeah, definitely. I bet you it's super light. My guess, I'm going to guess right now, 350. No, I'm going to go 400. It's a mid, Advent is the mid micro skip. Interesting. Larger beam, 68 inches. using a combination of carbon, Kevlar, and, and vinyl ester, resin. Lightweight and rigorous, yeah, strong, wow. Designed for a 30 to a 50. If you are a subscriber or viewer of the channel, you know I would always say go with a little less engine for more fuel efficiency. Sharp spray rails. Yeah, and that was that look. It looked a little bit more geometric to me. 
just design wise. More comfortable ride and chop, no, I have no doubt. Crustacean live well could be used for crustacean live well. Nice. Who doesn't want a crustacean live well? I mean, honestly. Seriously, if you're into red fishing, you want a crustacean live well. If you've got like small blue crabs or yeah, small crabs in general, you're getting a redfish and that's what you want. So this boat is just, yeah, it's rigged to be a fishing machine, I'm sure. Angle design feature of the back deck hatches. Yep, there it is. Okay. Yep, easy in, easy out. It makes it just usable. Highly usable. All right, hull weight, 400 pounds. I got it. Yeah, I won the hull weight challenge. 68-inch beam, a little wider than the shadow cast for sure. Still just 16 feet long, and then they give that nice aerial view in the picture. Look at that. We just got the hull, 11.8. Sample water, ready. 23.11. Wow. That's a lot of boat for 23. Look at that. Oh, that's a pretty looking boat, too. The fact that it's got that Kevlar in the hull, it's supposed to make it strong. That is so cool, and love that you can see the prices right on the website. I always say that, but that's something I look for. If not, it's usually easy to get it. You, know, you can get more details from them, right? But they, they give you, they get you in the ballpark. It's like, hey, if you were just going to try to go bare minimum, you could just grab the hull for 11.8. Again, that loan link in the thing, if you want a small amount of money. And then the sample water ready price, you're getting the whole deal. <laughs> 50 horse to hot seal on the back and an aluminum trailer. Oh. That's what it costs to live the dream. Lots of ways to live the dream. In fact, there are so many good boat manufacturers in Florida that I know of. Uh, Ancona is a fantastic example and, of course, one I can personally speak of because I have one of their boats that I love and is part of main part of my fishing channel. So, thanks for watching. I'm going to be covering a lot of other micro skiffs and technical polling skiffs that are interesting and cool like this. See how much the manufacturer is saying they cost and look at the things I like about them. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Videos coming out almost every day. Go get some tight lines. Catch a redfish on a crustacean.